and welcome folks, welcome back to Let's Play Take No Prisoners. Welcome to a little postscript to my previous bonus video. Yeah, I totally forgot to show you the second the second ending, the bad ending. So we are back here at Martic Industries. And we are about to make um, the decision. Ah, there's the map, yeah. By the way, this grey island on the upper right corner is actually Martic Industries, so I wondered um, about that earlier. So in fact we have now visited, visited all locations, all levels of this game, so we've seen pretty much everything except the bad ending. So we have to make a choice um, between overloading the crystal and running the crystal in normal power mode. From the um, text files that we picked up we learned that using the crystal in normal mode provides only a limited effect to a few number of people, including us, but it has the advantage that we are granted eternal life. However, the other option would possibly provide a limited effect to the whole world, but will not provide us with um, yeah, immortality. So let's now choose this option and see what happens. And by the way, this video now runs at a much higher resolution than all the other videos before. At the very last video of this Let's Play, I figured out that I could have played this game at a much higher resolution. Uh, the point is that even though in the options menu it only sh shows you resolutions up to 800 times 600, you can, by modifying the text file user config, I think, you can um, run it at any resolution that your graphic card supports. And you can find out which resolutions your graphic card supports by going into the console. Yeah, and I'm um, sorry that it's not probably not readable and type in the ID so abbreviation for video underscore print available modes that shows you all the modes that you can that you can use in this game so this is currently now running at 16 one uh, 1680 times 1050 think. Okay, anyway, let's go to the office and... Uh, yeah, and I forgot to... Shit. I forgot to enable the god mouse. So let's do that. We don't have to worry about getting killed. And they convenient, conveniently kill themselves. Um, yes, let's go to the office. And then see what happens if you go for immortality and leave everyone else to die horrible, horribly by the effects of the radiation. I'm sure everything will be fine. <clears throat> yes, and I've also learned today an important lesson. That lesson would be never change a running system. In particular, never change, update your graphic card driver if your graphic card driver um, works. Namely, I did that and then I couldn't play Techno Prisoners anymore. The new driver for my GeForce GT220 simply did not did not work with this game. Luckily I had the old disc that came with my computer and so I could reinstall, came with my graphics card, sorry. I could reinstall the old driver, okay. And therefore I can now record this video, luckily. So let us now, without further ado, see what happens if you choose the other alternative. Uh, I mean the other option. Okay, wait while the dome initializes. And here we go.
Yeah, that happens. That happens if you choose eternal life while everyone else gets to die horribly. They try to murder your face. Even though, technically speaking, how could they possibly murder you if you... It's better. The effects of the dome grant you immortality. Well, they could maybe try to um, capture you and drag you out of the dome, I guess. Well, anyway, that was Techno Prisoners. That was the second bonus video and last bonus video. Um, I might revisit this game. I might try to use the multiplayer if that still works at some point. Um, yeah, but that was it for this time. I hope you enjoyed this little extra postscript to my previous bonus video. I hope you liked my let's play of Techno Prisoners. Until next time folks, until then.